Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff. And today you're going to see me review a song that I heard on a recent Twitch stream that I did, twitch.tv slash Ewok to remember. The streams are a lot of fun and it's a great way to get your songs reviewed without having to wait. So hope you enjoy the video. I had a great time with all the songs from this stream. So enjoy the video. Let's do it. All right. So uh, I know who requested this one. The person who requested this one is always kind of requesting some eclectic stuff. Um, a lot of the songs from like who who would listen to this kind of music this person requests and and they do it in good faith to be fair like they enjoy that kind of music so i'm always like i always look at their requests and i'm like okay well <laughs> we're gonna see about this but you know um if lev vouches for them then you know it's probably all right so this one is on the floor by perfume genius i said we jump into it this is another band i've never heard uh, before, not haven't heard a single song from them, and actually this one is pretty recent, in the last couple of years, March 16th, 2020, so, alright, let's do it, and I got the official lyric video, hopefully it doesn't get blocked, but I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I promise I'm going to start the song over. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> Um, this reminds me of the Wiggles, um, specifically because, okay, so I, I'm a, I'm a fan of Tame Impala for you know, Like I, I like a lot of their music. The Wiggles did a Tame Impala cover. They covered elephant on, um, like a version. I forget who puts on the, the like a version thing, but the way that, the way that th this song has started is very similar to the way that, that cover of that Tame Impala song starts and so I'm like immediately I'm like this is the Wiggles but anyway not that it's bad I actually really enjoy this cover but yeah anyway moving on
had to say, I enjoyed it. I thought that was really good. Um, yeah, like I said, the person who request, requested this song is typically requesting some songs that are kind of out there. Um, th there was that one Suffy and Stevens song, I think. I don't remember if they requested it or if they just commented that they really liked it. But I was like, yo, that song was was bad. Um, <laughs> or that one that was like Panda Panda by like Deer Hoof or something like that. Man, there was uh, there was some interesting ones, but this one was definitely a hit. So good job. <laughs> this is a really good one. Um, and yeah, like many of you, I'm wondering like, okay, is it the same guy in the video dancing with himself? How good is our CG technology that we can kind of fake that? Because they did look very similar. I can't honestly can't tell if it's two different guys or if it's the same guy dancing with himself. Obviously, I feel like they have to have like a body double in there at least to uh, be able to sort of map the you know the scan of his face or whatever. But regardless, I thought that was music video was interesting. The song was great. So. Let's break it down piece by piece like we always do, of course, of course, of course, starting with those lyrics. So, a uh, little bit of info here first. I do want to read it. It says, this is the second single from Set My Heart on Fire, uh, Set My Heart on Fire immediately. And like the first one, it was released with a self-directed video. On the press release, Hadreas, I guess that's the guy's name, uh, said, I wanted to show that maddening sol solitaire solitary part of desire but keep the core which is a real warmth and belief that you have something crucial to share with each other that's very sweet actually the video shows him dancing and rolling in the dirt alone and then he is joined by a partner that all of a sudden goes away as if it was an illusion the idea of being on the floor is used as a symbol for being hopeless and appears on the song on other songs like natalie imbruglia's torn the song portrays a sort of emotional withdrawal uh, using concepts like getting the shakes and promising that the next day will be different as you wait for the addiction uh, to this other person to hopefully one day pass. All right. Is there a live performance available? Great question. <laughs> anyway, let's go and look at those lyrics. So this is the second single. I read that part. Lyrics time. I'm trying, but still I close my eyes. The dreaming bring his face to mine. Lock the door, the constant buzzing all through the night. The fighting rips me all up inside. Yeah. Oof. Um, so obviously cares about somebody. Uh, on the floor I pace, I run my mouth, I pray and wait. I cross out his name on the page. Sounds like it, it didn't quite work out is what it sounds like. How long till this washes away? How long till my body is safe? How long till I walk in the light? How long till this heart isn't mine? The rise and fall of his chest on me. I'm trying, but still it's all I see. The violent current of energy. I hide it away and underneath. And so, yeah, just like longing for this person. You know, the relationship maybe didn't quite work out, but um, you're left with that sort of empty void is what it sounds like. Lock the door, I shake, I promise every day to change, I cross out his name on the page. So almost like that hopelessness, right? Where it's like, yeah, it's, it's not going to work. I, I'm, I have to move on. How long till this washes away? How long till my body is safe? How long till I walk in the light? How long till this heart isn't mine? Take this wilderness, uh, wildness away, wildness away, wildness away. I'm trying, but still I close my eyes, the dreaming bringing his face to mine. Out the door, I pace, I run my mouth, I pray to change, I cross cross out his name on the page how long till this washes away how long till my body is safe how long till this heart isn't mine i just want him in my arms and there it is i mean again just kind of not uh having a relationship that just didn't pan out and kind of wanting to to go back to it you know kind of longing for that person after they've uh sort of exited your life and so yeah i think uh I, I think lyrically, this one is definitely relatable to a lot of people and just beautifully written, honestly, very beautifully written. So I'm going to give it a thumb up for the lyricism. As far as the instrumentation and vocals go, I got, I'll got i start with the vocals. I think his, his, his voice is great. I, I really loved, you can really feel the uh, sort of the passion, the, the almost like sincere, sincere like sadness to it, um, which I think really worked for the song, especially the way it was just beautifully written uh, lyrically. And then as far as the instrumentation goes, yeah, the instrumentation was a little bit more upbeat and kind of had this nice energy to it. It reminded me of the Wiggles, but still it was it was really good. Um, and I've always been kind of a sucker for music like that, where it's like the, it's kind of dark lyrically and sometimes even vocally, but the instrumentation is fun and makes you want to kind of jam out and, and enjoy it, you know. So kind of dug that part of it. Um, 
I thought it was pretty good. I'm going to give it another thumb up for instrumentation and vocals. As far as replay value goes, yeah, a little bit different than what I normally listen to, but I thought it was solid. I thought it was a really good song. So I think it's going to hit the playlist. I don't know if I listen to it all the time. It might be one of those I have to be in the right mood for. But regardless, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give it another thumb up for replay value. Overall, a great song. So thank you so much to the person who requested this one. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.